Hey YouTube, it's Mike Pang Gangster here, and today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about the uh, grind for Team of the Year. Now, I wanna say, I wanna state, this is what I'm doing, but before, I wanted to actually make a video with the highlights of me packing stuff. So I want you guys to leave a comment down below. How many packs you think, oh, how many packs? I'm gonna tell you how many packs I opened. I opened, give or take, 100 packs around 40 of these and maybe 50 of these if you had to make a prediction out of those 90 packs how many walkouts do, would you predict i hit i'll give you guys a second to maybe leave a comment okay let me give you the answer zero walkouts my highest rated players from these two packs combined, with like I'd say, I'd give or take around 90 of them open so far, was 285s and maybe three or four informs from League One. The left mid guy and the Korean guy that I kept getting over and over. <laughs> around 90 packs, okay? Now, I don't care about Team of the Year, but these ones right here, they're two player upgrades. I've done about 50 of them zero walkouts so keep in mind that even me showing you how i'm doing it right now the odds of you packing something is completely nerfed to the ground okay ea have nerfed the pack odds incredibly so if people are struggling to pack anything it's completely normal because this company will do anything to screw people over just for people to know now i'm frustrated because, not because I didn't pack a team of the year. I'm frustrated because I can't even get a single fucking walkout. That's why I'm frustrated. Because I'm trying to complete Varan. I've used pretty much everything I had in my club that I already had from my previous pack opening. Or all the packs that I kept, 70 plus packs. And I was able to complete four segments. Okay? And there's zero help from 90 of these packs. I don't need a team of the year, yay. You could give me an 86 Chiellini and it would make my fucking day, to be honest with you guys, okay? Anyways, as you can see from my voice, I am fucking pissed because it's just ridiculous how they can nerf packs like this. But for people that are wondering, what do I do? Since I have no more stuff in my club and I'm going pack by pack, I'll show you exactly how I do it, okay? So, for example, um, every time I open up my packs, uh, I always, it always ends up, I always end up with five rare uh, players. Oh my god, my bad. And then I gotta go buy the other six, right? So this is what I do, just to show you guys what I do, just in case if people are interested. Um, so I go to uh, gold rares. I pick a league. So I pick league one. I go to 800 coins and I, and I buy players, right? Now, unfortunate, there's so many people buying players that it's very frustrating to buy them. So I have to buy six players um, all the time, right? Oh, I already have them, so that's okay. Um, of course, now the game is glitched, so that part there sucks. <laughs> See how, how frustrating this game is? Just to buy players, like how, how, like how, how many, just everything, everything in this game is just glitchy. It's incredible. <laughs> So if you want to pay a little bit more, you pay a little bit more. I'm trying to do this in a way that I pay the less possible. So let's say, for example, I already have like um, enough. Oh my God, man. You just click buttons after buttons after buttons. It's impressive. That's all I gotta say. It's impressive how hard it is um, to get the players. 
So anyways, now the game is going to glitch because of the uh, duplicate card that I got. But it's okay. It's going to be one less player that I have to buy. Now I just have to get out of here for a second. My apology for making this longer than it was supposed to be, but the problem is because the game glitches every time you uh every time you buy a card that basically is a duplicate. I forgot that I had a du duplicate card, yeah. Um you automatically um have to like leave the SBC and come back. Which, which is very, very frustrating, for sure. Uh, so, this is how I do it, okay? So, for example, as you can see, I had five rare players, right? Um, so, you know that this time around, I'm, I'm going to... Look at this, man. Like, this game, every button you click is just laggy. It's just insane. So we're going to send this guy back. So we're going to have six the next time around, right? But so I go pack by pack because it's it's the only way at the moment because it's just the only way that makes sense to me. Um, so again, we got boards here. It's, it's pretty incredible that out of all these packs that I opened up, especially um, the two player packs, because I could understand the League Ones being nerfed, right? Because automatically, if you get a walkout from League One, there's a very good chance it's going to be a team of the year. But when I open up the two player packs, this is where I am completely in shock. Because I can't even pack a single walkout from about 50 of these packs, okay? Now, I'm sure people have done these packs many times throughout the year. And I've gotten walkouts, right? At least a few walkouts, right? If you do like, you know, 50 of these, you know? Like, how many walkouts should you get if you open up 50 of these packs, right? At least, I'd say, three, four, right? Not even one. Not even a single walkout, okay? So every time I got to do this cycle, I always have to buy two non-rares and six rares. Now, of course, it's going to cost me money every cycle that I do because I'm at the point where I'm going pack by pack, hoping to pack a walkout at this point. Nope. A non-rare again. I mean non-rare. A non-board again. And rinse and repeat, we go back and do again another League One SBC. As you can see, I am doing this over, over, and over, okay? With not being able to pack a single walkout. Forget Team of the Years. A single walkout. Now, I would like to know in the comments from everybody else that's doing this, like, um, <clears throat> what kind of luck are you guys getting uh, out of this? Because I, I am not, I am just not getting lucky at all, like at all. Which is, like I said, which is very, very frustrating. Um, since I already have the chemistry there, we could just go here and, and hope to buy five of these. Oh my god, man. Like like the, the, the servers, the servers, the lag, the menu. Everything makes this grind harder than it is. Look at this, man. Can't even... To the point where the only way you could do this is basically by going like this. So you, you pay the extra 50 coins... So you don't have to deal with like trying to get these 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 cards for like uh, basically uh, 800 coins. So at the end, you'll probably end up spending like it's I don't know uh, 500 coins more or something. But <laughs> trust me, I'd rather spend 500 500 coins more than trying to 
save 500 coins while taking seven minutes to do a single SBC. You know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, I mean, everybody does what they want, right? But I'm just saying, right? So again, we complete another one. We're gonna open up this one. We're also gonna do the uh, the two player upgrade before we finish the video, just to show you um, if we get lucky, which I really, really doubt, because like I said, can't even get a single walkout. So, oh, again, <laughs> yeah, the Korean guy. One more time. It's the only guy I get. The only guy I get. And of course, I got nothing else to do with him, so I'm just gonna discard him because there's just nothing else for me to do with this freaking card that I got like five times already. Um, and when that happens, of course, you would have to buy one extra rare. So instead of buying f uh, six rares, now you gotta buy seven rares. Um, <clears throat> because he comes out as a rare, unfortunate. But at the beginning, for the people that haven't done certain SBCs, of course, that team of the week is gonna help you out with uh, you doing some, right? Unfortunate for me, um, I'm at the point where I just don't need, um, I don't need him anymore, right? So it's like, at that point, I'm just gonna like discard him. Man, this game is just lag. It's just constant lag, man. You click buttons, it clicks like seven. It just clicks like seven buttons. Like it, it's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how bad uh, the servers are in this game. The menu, I mean, the menu. The menu lag is is, is ridiculous. It's just it's ridiculous that we're still dealing with menu lag this bad. And this is the final pack. And as you can see, I'm gonna be doing this all day long. Because, you know, and some, some, somewhere in my brain, I believe that maybe one day I'm going to pack something, you know. Oh, look at that. My first walkout. Andovich. Thank you, EA. Thank you. It took about 50 packs to get an 86 Andovich. And I'm talking about two-player packs. Guys, I know people are looking at the video like, wow, this guy's just complaining. I am complaining for a reason here. Why is it so hard to pack... A walkout. I'm not talking about team of the year here. I'm just talking about a regular, an 86, 87, 80, a regular walkout. It's impossible for a person to open up 50 two player packs and get 186. With my, with the, with the League One upgrade packs, I'd say, give or take, I opened up around 90 packs and my best pulls were 285s. It's ridiculous that EA could screw people over like this constantly. Whenever they feel like it, it's against the rules, okay? Their own rules. People should sue this company when they do this because it's ridiculous. You cannot be nerfing certain packs. There's people out there that are actually paying real money, okay, to open up packs when they're, they're nerfing the packs. That means they're, they're playing with the numbers here. When, when something says, for example, like you have a 8% chance of packing like an, whatever, an 87 plus, it has to be 8%. It cannot be 2%. It has to be 8%. If not, you're going against the law, okay? EA is going against the law. The only reason why they're not getting sued is because nobody has the time to call lawyers and sue this company for stuff like this. But what they're doing is completely illegal, okay? There's actually people that are spending a lot of money trying to open up packs to pack a team of the year. There's a guy that made a video, just to give you an example of some of the big YouTubers, how much money they ended up putting to open up, to get a team of the year. And, 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 and they showed like Castro, they showed uh, Bateson and all that. Anyway, they ended up showing and they ended up spending something like 23,000 pounds and they got four team... Four team of the years with 23,000 pounds. You could buy yourself a brand new fucking BMW, okay, to get four team of the years. And there were, none of them was a, a Mbappe, okay, the most expensive one. You could buy a brand new BMW with 23,000 pounds. Now, it won't be the best BMW, it will be the, the lowest class, 
but you could buy a brand new BMW for four team of the year players, okay? That's ridiculous. It's no way that that is considered legit, okay, by any means. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I do apologize for being completely toxic in this video, but I have to give you guys my real opinion of what I think about this company, and this company is fucking trash. Trash. Complete trash. They're crooks. That's what they are. They're fucking crooks. Every year, they're crooks. They steal money from people every year, and they get away from it. Ridiculous. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.